story outraged women across the country. Jennifer Ireland of Michigan lost custody of her daughter because a judge decided that Jennifer was working too hard as a full-time student to be a good mother. I always thought that my going away to school was going to be like an asset <laughs> than being dependent on my family and, you know, bettering myself and making a better life for my child. Um, I couldn't believe the decision. Well, that story was hard to believe, but actually more and more women are losing their children because the judges are deciding that they are too ambitious and that they work too much. It happened to all three of these women. Ambition was their crime. Janet is a veterinarian and lost both her sons when her husband charged her with caring more about her career than her kids. Ruth also lost her son and was accused by her ex of watching her son's baseball games from her car so that she could do business on the phone. And Judy lost all three of her children when the judge ruled that she was too ambitious. Okay. Well, my next guest is a psychologist and he works with divorced parents battling over custody of their kids. Meet Dr. Bill Dorfman. He says it all boils down to value choices and deciding who comes first, your boss or your kids. And are you saying that most people choose their bosses? Well, I think in, in many cases, certainly in economic situations, <clears throat> there's really no choice to maintain the job. You have to choose the, the boss's uh, right. priorities. The, the sad part, and, and the part that I hear with my patients and I've heard uh, today, is that the consequence of that is often on the woman who is left feeling guilty about uh, not responding to the children, recognizing the needs of children, and at the same time violating her professional issues, uh, risking herself in the job, uh, hitting her head against the glass ceiling. So she's in a no-win situation often. It's not a question of should we stay home and take care of the children. Well, could but could we work less? Could we work less hours? Could women work no. less? Could we be... What do you say? Yes, yes, yes. Stand up. That's what I tried to do. I was a partner in a law firm here in Chicago. And I went back to work part-time when my son was four months old. I worked four days a week. And I worked from 8 a.m., 8.30 a.m. till 3.30 a.m., 3.30 p.m. That wasn't enough. Uh, the people that I was working with, my partners, felt that unless I was there full-time, five days a week, and available at all hours, that I was not really practicing law. And although I was a partner and they couldn't fire me, they made it economically and emotionally impossible for me to continue working. So and don't so you I think we need to make, we, we, the country, we, the people, need to make a, a mind shift? You talk about the father age. going out and, and getting two jobs. Okay, why doesn't the mother have to go out and get... Instead of just saying how important it is to be at home with the father. Why is the assumption that it's the mother? See, the that's the mindset that the mother... The we're giving to our children is that we don't value them. <laughs> the, oh, well. <laughs> you imagine we did. Dr. Dr. Dorfman, yes? Dr. Dr. Dorfman? The, re the reality to all of this, I think, I think men have made in incredible strides in terms of becoming more nurturing, more caring, more involved. The, reali the reality is... The reality is that women still are more likely than, than ever to do the washing, to do the cleaning, to be involved 100% in the... Um, I'll let you finish that when we come back. I'll let you finish that statement when we come back. When we come back, also working parents who say they have the secret to making it all work. I, we would like to know what it is. We would like to know what it is in a moment. Yeah. Okay, okay you were going to finish your statement, doctor. Well, I, I, I was going to suggest that... Um, Families are so complex these days. There is no traditional kind of family situation. We, your, your issue about flexibility is critical, and, and, and this, I think, is, is a key point. Families provide some shield from the, the stress and strain of everyday life. Mm -hmm. uh, when that is compromised, when that family, whether it's a working mother or working father, I don't think that we have to establish the blame at one person or the other. When the child is not nurtured on a regular basis, that stress is what leads to some serious problems. And the child is not always um, in need of all this, this help. The, the issue of hours that you raised is, a, is an interesting one. I think many kids can do just fine most of the time, but those critical incidents when mother or father is not available to deal with the issue is where I think we fail often in families. We'll be right back. We'll be right back. We'll talk to some couples who are getting it right in a moment.